Yeah. What up, folks? It's Alex here, and welcome to Five Minute Fridays. Today, we're going to talk about power bins. Power bins are simply media poles or bins which are stored collectively amongst all of your project. They provide you with a really useful shared space to put important clips which you use often in different projects. My intro and outro videos for example are stored in power bins so I can access them from any project that I create. Now by default they're actually turned off in Resolve so let's boot it up I'll show you how to turn them on and I'll show you how they work. Right, we're back at the workstation and we've opened up Resolve and we're just on the Media tab. Now, this is a screen that you're probably used to seeing. You've got your media port at the bottom here with your bins on the left-hand side. Now, by default, you'll probably see this master and any folders you've set for the current project. That's your project bin. And then down here, you've got the smart bin, which is a video for another day. Now, by default, you won't see the power bin. So the first thing we have to do is turn that on. Dead easy to do, click on view in the very top, right near the bottom, show power bins, give that a click and then you'll have a power bin on the left hand side. Now it works the same as any other bin, you've got a master but you can right click, add a bin and then you can add separate folders. So I'm going to add one called intro and outro. I'm going to give that a click so it's selected and I'm just going to browse to my intro and outro videos. Drag that and add that. There we go. So now I've got my intro video and my outro video in my power bin. Now I'm going to close this project. I'm going to open an old project. So that one will do. And you can see here's the standard bin with all my normal files, but I've got the power bin already there. I can go to intro and outro, and there's my intro and outro videos ready to go. If I head to the edit page, same thing. I can go to the intro and outro bin. There's my videos. I can drag them onto my timeline. Job done. Those files are ready to go no matter what project I open. Now, while we're here, I've got another quick bonus tip for you, which when used in conjunction with the power bins is a really great time saver. Let's take this clip here for an example. It's a few seconds long and there's bits of this clip I don't really care about. I just want certain elements from it. So let's say I want this section just there of the dog. Now what I could do is add this video to a timeline, cut it up, delete the bits I don't want and then render this out so I've got a rendered file which I can then re-import into Resolve and add to a media bin. But that's a long process. I don't want to do all of that. Unfortunately, there is an easier way. I'm going to head back to my media tab and I'm going to find the video I want and I'm going to double click on it so it appears in my preview window. Now, I'm going to use the in and the out keys, the I and the O. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, click on the link above for a video where I talk about the in and out function in more detail. I'm going to use the, the mini timeline and I'm going to find the section I want. So I want it to start there and end about there. Now I'm on my project specific bin here and I'm just going to click anywhere within the preview window and I'm going to drag down into the bin and let go. Now if I go to edit, there's that video. Now if I add that to the timeline and just hit play, you'll notice it's the really small section of the video I selected, it's not the entire thing. So you can select parts of a video, put them in a bin and use them whenever you want them. Now that's in the project specific bin. What I can do then is give that a click, drag it down into my power bin and there it is. So if I just delete this and add this, it's not that whole video, it's just a section of it. Now again, if I go to File, Create a New Project, here's a brand new project, I've not imported any media at all. If I go to my Power Bin, there's the video is, I can drag it to my timeline, 
and there you go it's just that small section of that video now just a quick point for you which actually I've only just noticed is if I do an in and out here for this clip and try and drag it directly into my power bin so I'm on the media tab I'm not adding it to the project specific bin I'm trying to drag it straight to the power bin DaVinci Resolve crashes. So anyone from Blackmagic that's watching, that seems to be a bug. You can get round it by following the tips I've just discussed, i.e. dragging the clip to the project specific bin and then moving it from that bin into the power bin. And there you go, that's it. Another five minute Friday, done. Now just a quick heads up, that second tip I showed of cutting segments out of videos for later use will probably be its own five minute Friday. I think it's worth doing its own just to let everyone know because it's such a good tip. So just a heads up, I may repeat myself a little bit sometime in the future. Anyway, I hope that video was useful. If it was, as always, thumbs up. If you've got any feedback or just general comment, please pop a comment below and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on next week's 5 Minute Friday and any other videos that I do really. Um, I have had a bit of a boost in subscribers recently, so I just want to say thank you all very, very much. I really appreciate that. And as always, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next week.